I'm excited for the kids, especially for the young, uh, for the older guys who really hung in there to give these young kids an opportunity to be at a bowl game like this. So that's always nice. Chris, I've had some distractions this week. What did you sense was the, the the mindset in here today? Were they rallying up? Um, I don't, I don't know. You don't, you don't want to get that from me. I'm here for Urban, okay. here for the kids. There's a lot, a lot of kids on the roster that I know. Um, I, I'm pretty certain um, they know the magnitude uh, of of what's going on, you know. So I look for them to put on a good show. You know, it's a, it's a big time bowl game. You know, being Orange, we haven't played in a whole bunch of Orange Bowls, so I don't think the kids would take it for granted. Did you talk to the kids at all? Have you spoken to the team? No, not. The, um, I spoke to them earlier in the year, but not today. I mean, Urban, they, they're. I think they're used to seeing me. You see me with Urban, so it's really not that big of a deal. But I'll probably be at practice the rest of the week too. So it, you know, I don't know what's going to happen. I'm whatever Urban tells me. Like, your impression of Sammy Watkins when you watch him play? You've seen him play. Oh, he's phenomenal. He's phenomenal. If he if he's not the number one receiver in, in this year's draft, he could be number two, number two receiver. Versatility. They give him the ball on the move too. Very seldom you ever see him with his back to the line of scrimmage. So they get him. You know, he's a Florida kid, too, so, I mean, he can flat out run with the football. There's guys who are fast, and there's guys fast with the football. He's really, you know, and Dabo and them do a great job of play calling. Also, number one, opposite him. Yeah. I mean, they're going to have their hands full yeah. with those two wide receivers. What That's, is the key to, to – I mean, obviously, you were a wide receiver. What is the key to, to throttling a guy like Sammy Watkins, if, if in fact, that you can do that? Well, in this game, you really want to try to slow him down. And you want to try to force the quarterback into some tight throws because they're going to catch some balls. They're going to make some yardage against the Buckeyes defense. But trying to get turnovers and trying to hold them to field goals. If they're able to do that, that's how you're able to win. Chris, uh, this situation is kind of like what you guys had in 86. You lose to Michigan. 86. Te- I haven't, Tex- okay. Texas A&M in the Cotton Bowl, one of your biggest games. Just what did you guys gain by, by going down there and finishing on a high note? I can't even lie and tell you I remember the mentality. <laughs> like. <laughs> Uh, I just know every bowl game, I always wanted to be the best player on the field. So every bowl game from the Rose Bowl, I had one of my coaches mention that to me as USC was taking the field, that he thought that I could be the best player on the field. So after that, the other two bowl games I played in, that was my only mentality. Get better in the 15, 20 practices you get. And um, I don't think much has changed for these kids. It's a great opportunity. Bowl season, it's special, especially after what happened to us, what we come through the last couple of years. So um, I think that it, it, it's still a great reward, you know, even though we could have been a national championship game, it's a great reward for how they persevered for the last two years.